how long I'm going to spend in the army, who knows. I will continue to juggle my time between flying this thing and doing the other job, which can be, you know, arduous, but I'm lucky I've got a job lots of people haven't, so I'm never going to whinge or complain about that. The other job is being a member of the royal family. Once he leaves Afghanistan, he'll have to try and balance the different sides of his life again. You've got to be able to flick the switch. I think I said a while back, those sort of three, three, three me's there were, you know, one in the army, one sort of socially, sort of my own private time, and then one sort of with the family and stuff like that. So, you know, there is, there is a switch, and I, and, I, and, I, and I flick it when necessary. This is the plane, this is the plane. Harry flew back to Britain and the snow. Waiting for him with cameras at the ready were his favourite people, the press. It's been great. Really proud of the guys, the whole squadron. I mean, you know, it's a hell of an experience. You get life experiences that you get nowhere else out there. Very different to when I was last out there. I'll be looking forward to going back and seeing my family. I'm longing to see my, my brother and sister-in-law um, as, as any other soldiers just come off the plane four and a half months away. Um, I really am longing to, to catch up with people um, behind closed doors. You guys aren't invited. <laughs> I think he doesn't like us media people. And press controversy has followed his return. Some have criticised the way he appeared to casually compare playing computer games with operating his deadly weaponry. You get asked to do things that you'd expect to do wearing this uniform, um, and that is, that's as simple as that, really. For the thousands of guys that are on operations at the moment, we're continuing essentially to try and do a job. A job for ourselves, a job for the guys left and right of us, and from my point of view, especially uh, for the guys on the ground. British combat troops are due to leave Afghanistan at the end of 2014, so it's unlikely Harry will get another chance to go back out there. He'd partly gone to find what he considered to be a normal existence, but at the end of his second tour, he no longer knows what normal is. Normal for me, I don't know what normal is anymore. Um, I never really have done, but uh, there's nothing normal about what we've been doing for the last four and a half months. There's nothing normal about what's going out, going, going on out there. Christ, in the, uh, in the last day that I was there, um, a seven-year-old girl got shot down by uh, the insurgents. So, you know, normality is, is, is a very, very um, ambiguous thing, if you know what I mean. It's not just because he's a prince that Harry stands out from the crowd. Not many people would choose to swap a life of luxury for the dangers and harsh conditions of a war zone. Happy days, good to go. We're not special, the guys out there are. This young man who could have done anything, could have stayed in the UK and, and, and done whatever, decided to put his life on the line, go to the most austere part of Afghanistan, not as a press stunt, because it was where he wanted to be, and lead by example. And that's a story that's got to be told with all the other stuff. And I think taking his life as a whole, he's a man that, that deserves our respect and, and honor for what he's done. To the public, there seems to be three sides to Harry. The prince, the playboy, and the army pilot. Trying to decipher which of the three is the real Harry is impossible, but one of them certainly appears to be his priority. Once you're wearing the uniform, um, you are part, part of the gang. Fine, I'm the Queen's grandson and all that good stuff, and I'm out here representing her. But to be honest with you, as far as I see it, and as far as William sees it as well, our service towards our country in the, in the military, whichever shape or form it takes, um, will always come first. 